Westgate doesn't have a big gaming area. Their um, big claim to fame is the sports book. Certainly has everything you need for gaming. Just not huge like some of the others. At least their high limit room has modern slot machines. Oh, and they've got high limit uh, roulette. And they have some baccarat back here, too. Yeah. Mm. Right now, Barry Manilow is headlining the theater, International Showroom. International was the f original name of this hotel before it was the Hilton. Then it was the Las Vegas Hotel. And then it finally landed back to Westgate. The owner is an Orlando timeshare multi-billion dollar Oh, it is still Benihana. So today is Monday. I don't know. Will this open later or not? This is an extremely good restaurant. I've never heard anyone say bad things about this restaurant. This is the real deal. Oh, Wednesday through Sunday. So they're not open on Monday. Well, makes sense. That's what I would do if I was them. If you're not going to pack this place out on Monday, why open it? But this is a true Japanese restaurant. Guaranteed you will enjoy your meal at Benihana. This is a steakhouse back here, Edge. And this is a bar where you can bring a mistress or something because no one will ever see you back here. And that's an Italian restaurant, Fresco. That's been here a while. That's also most likely very good. This bar up at the front has live music on the weekends. They also play some really good um, videos on their screen over here. You can hear one right now, but they crank it up uh, whenever it gets busy in here. It's really a good place to get a drink. Plus, she gets you uh, some sports updates on those TVs. Mm. Some more of the casino. It's a pretty simple casino. But it's, like I said before, it's very adequate. It's got good machines. Got everything you can get elsewhere, just not a lot of it.
Got a liquor store in here. And, uh, preview center. That's uh, timeshare. A third of this hotel is timeshare units. If you buy a timeshare and you don't use it, you can rent it. I think that's the case everywhere. And there's all the rooms. Some shops, regular shops. This little gift shop has actually some decent prices, considering. I mean, if you're in a if you're in a pinch for like a sweatshirt or something like that, or a hoodie, this jacket. Yeah, the jacket's fifty dollars, but it's actually a very good quality jacket. This legendary hoodie. Oh, it's eighty dollars. So. Never mind what I said, that's somewhat of a ripoff. But I guess if you're in a pinch and you're legendary, you might pay it. And this place, no, this is Starbucks. I actually hate Starbucks. It's so overpriced. And coffee sucks. Of course, I don't eat coffee, drink coffee. So, who am I? Very the showman of our generation. So, so, the other big feature of this hotel is the fact that it's on the monorail. It's a monorail stop. So, right back there, you, you walk to the monorail. So, you could be at MGM in minutes instead of taking an Uber or the bus or walking. I walk it quite a few times uh, during the week, but just for exercise. No. Probably gonna get flagged for Barry Manilow playing on this video. There's the cafe, it's like a hotel cafe, you know, a little bit of everything and nothing special. There's that damn buffalo machine again. Jesus, everybody has the buffalo machine. Progressive slots. Okay, well they've got a few areas right here. Game King. Wow. I mean, when you put Game King in your casino, I think you're really insulting the public. This is what Westgate's most famous for. This is a non-smoking sports book. They were one of the first to do, go non-smoking. Well, this whole area is non-smoking, even these slots, which is really nice. some kind of horse racing going on early in the morning because they'll pick up the East Coast horses starting about 8 o'clock in the morning and then it goes all the way till maybe 10 o'clock at night because that would be an 8 o'clock start for the uh, California tracks and some people are in here the entire time. And this, this little deli here is awesome. 
Their food is fantastic. It's not as cheap as it used to be, but nothing is. I don't know what's up that clubhouse thing. I think you can rent that out. It's just a little room with a couple of crappy TVs. Seriously, terrible TVs. But this is... This is the best sports book in Las Vegas. The only competition they've got on that title is uh, Circa downtown. Which is really good, but if you want to go in Circa, you got to give them your driver's license every time you go in, which I don't like that. I don't know what they're doing with that information. They actually scan it, so... It's like uh, too much information, in my opinion. All right, that's good. that's enough for Westgate.